All right. Today we will discuss about this binomial expansion questions. This one is for IGCSE MF. I guess this one is a paper 2020 October November paper one. It's not mistaken. All right. Let's have a look at these questions, which is a seven mark question. They give us the first three term, which is 32 minus 208x plus cx square. After this expansion. And then ask us to find a value of a, b, and c. So right now my logic is I want to expand this uh, a plus b x power of five, but I guess I no need to expand until like all the term. I just need to expand until x power of two should be enough. All right, let's do it. So a plus b x power of five here. The first term is just a power of five. The next term is just five c one a power of four multiply and then multiply b x power of one. And the next term will be. 5c2 a power of 3 and then bx power of 2 plus dot 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 all right so here i will just like simplify a little bit so a power of 5 5c1 five is 5 so this is 5 uh, a4 bx and then 5c2 should be 10 yeah so we have about 10 uh, a cube b square x square because square is for both and plus dot 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 all right so yeah supposedly i should have six term here but i just need the first three term all right and then actually they also tell you about the first three term so it's quite easy so this a5 plus b a power 4 b x plus 10 a3 b2 x square and then multiply with 1 plus x all right, and then I will get about 32 minus 208x plus cx squared. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to expand here and then we're comparing the left-hand side and right-hand side. Okay, so, okay, let's do it. Okay, I want to make sure um, this is constant. So the constant multiply constant, this is the only term I will get constant value without x. So a power of 5 multiplied 1 is a power of 5. So quite easy. Then I know a power of 5 equals 32, a equals to 2, but I will solve it later. All right, then I, a power of 5 also need to multiply the second term as well. Okay, just depend how you want to do. Okay, so if you want to do like one by one, can. So, okay, here I will just use a constant because I know only one term, uh, one, one term constant here, which is a power of 5 equals to 32 then a is fifth root of 32 then a is equals to 2 then i will comparing the coefficient of x power 1 all right then right now you kind of need to think like which term will actually give you x power 1 so you can see if a power 5 multiply x here will give you x power 1 if 5a power 4 bx multiply 1 here also will give you x power 1 so there's a two term here and my coefficient of x power 1 is given which is negative 208 okay so what i want to do here is when i say coefficient basically i just take the number in front of it so over here i will just say a5 plus this one multiply 1 which is 5a power 4 b equals to negative 20a because this one is x squared so no matter which term i multiply there's no way i get x power one so there's therefore it's only these two term all right then i have the value of a which is um two then it's 32 plus 5 multiply 16 b solving this equation i should be able to get the b quite easily so i will minus 32 which is negative 240 and then here i guess you give me 80 then it yeah so this one will be 80b, so it will be divided by 80, b equals to negative 3. Alright, lastly, I will compare the coefficient of x power of 2, which is e equals to c. Alright, then I need to rethink which term will actually give me the x power of 2. a no matter multiply which term here also cannot get x power of 2. Alright, but then this 5a power of 4b x, if multiply x will give me x power of 2, isn't it? Yes. All right, but this one multiply first term is just x power one, so it doesn't matter. But this one, if multiply one, I actually getting x power of two, right? But this term, if I multiply x, I get x power of three. So therefore, only two terms here. Okay, which is the five a four b plus since multiply one, so I getting back the same thing. 
tan A cube B square equals to C. All right, I have both A and B. I can find C easily, just substitute A and B into it. All right, my A is two, so it will be 16. B will be negative three plus, all right, this one A is two, so it will be eight, negative three, so this one will give me nine. So we'll just use the calculator to solve this one, times 16, times negative three, and then plus, this one will be 80 multiply nine. All right, so the final answer should be uh, 480 for C. All right, so I don't think this seven mark is like very hard to get it. But then over here, I guess it's very important that you know how to take out the coefficients of x power one, x power two, and constant. Yeah, sometimes it have two term, but sometimes it can up to three term. Uh, depend, depend what is the question one here. Alright, so I hope this video actually can help you to gain some experience on how to solve these kind of questions. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.